In this video, I kind of wanted to touch on the subject of coding boot camps in general and whether or not coding boot camps are a scam. If you're familiar at all with my channel, you'll know that I occasionally make a video talking about stuff that I saw on Reddit. And since I had that White Hat Junior video that did so well recently and it was talking about a kind of shady boot camp for kids, I thought that maybe I should talk about some of the stuff that I saw on Reddit for boot camps for adults that are, you know, based online and here in the US. Right now, coding is a very popular thing for people to want to learn. It's a very trendy new way of making money that a lot of people are interested in after the pandemic. Everybody's interested in trying to work remotely, find new lines of work, try to make more money. And coding is one of those areas that people kind of go to when this topic comes up. And that's why I feel like a lot of these boot camps that are popping up or some of these boot camps that have been around for a while now, I, I'm not going to call them scams because they're not necessarily scams, but, but I will say that they do promise a lot. And some of them are a little sketchy and maybe they promise too much. And I don't believe a lot of the stuff that they deliver. First of all, I want to say that anything that's an ISA, an income shared agreement boot camp, I would stay the hell away from one of those because while they tell you that they will, you know, only charge you if you get placed, here's the thing. Many of them will, will get you placed at, at a job, which is awesome, but the bill that you're going to be paying once you get that job is going to be very, very large. And you might say, well, well, that's fine. It's worth it because I got the job and, and, and now I can, I can make some money. And if I have to pay them back for teaching me, that's fine. But here's the thing, the stuff that they're teaching you, you can totally learn on your own. I'm a big advocate for learning how to code on your own. I am a self-taught web developer, programmer, software developer, engineer, whatever the hell you want to call it. I am one of those. I did it myself. I, I went through the grind. I struggled. I did everything that everyone said to do and I made it. So I'm living proof. I can tell you right now that you don't need a boot camp. And right now, since this has just become so popular, all these boot camps are popping up everywhere and they're getting people to sign up and they're getting people to commit large amounts of money, promising them that they're going to get them jobs. And, you know, if you're willing to pay that to learn how to code, that's fine. I get it. But coding boot camps aren't what they were a few years ago. The quality is starting to degrade. And the fact that we're in a pandemic where you can't even attend a boot camp in person, many of these boot camps are now online and you're kind of teaching yourself anyways. That's what leads me to the first thing that I saw on Reddit, which was that someone had posted this post right here. They posted that they started a new camp coding boot camp, right? And I never heard a new camp. This is something new to me. It's a new camp. Apparently that's a terrible pun, but I'm just going to continue. But the person in this, in this post is saying that they just enrolled to a full stack web development boot camp that starts in December. And this post is a little bit older because like I said, I, I saw this and I saved it and I was like, oh man, this is kind of like an interesting thing that I want to keep up with. And the person did say that they were going to be updating this post. So I wanted to check back and see what their update was. But what they signed up for was 1800 bucks. They self teach for a, an hour to four hours a day and they have access to an instructor and they collab with a cohort. They have a Slack community and the lifetime access to their course. Saturdays, they have an online workshop with an instructor from nine to one. Doesn't sound too bad. That's not a huge amount of money, but it sounds like you're paying somebody almost 2000 bucks to learn to code on your own. And I, I get where this person is coming from, Mark, Mark to the cuz. So Marcus, I'm assuming is his name. I, I get where they're coming from. When I was learning how to code, I went through this. I had the same problem that this person was having. They said that they, they I wasn't unemployed, but they're saying that they tried to learn how to code on their own and they had gone through YouTube, they have gone through free code camp and they did some books and some Udemy courses and they felt mediocre at HTML, CSS and JavaScript and Bootstrap. So they decided that they needed to do a boot camp. And when you start looking at regular boot camps that cost, you know, 10, $20,000 and you find one online that's 1800 bucks, you're probably like, oh, this is great. I'm going to do this. This is going to give me direction. This is going to help me out. 
which then I, I feel for this person and I, I hope that they get a job. I hope that it's worth it for them because I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't wish bad on anyone. I really hope that they get what they're looking for and they, they accomplish what they're, they're setting out to do. But I wish that I could have talked to this person like I'm talking to you right now. And I wish that I could have told them to like, just stick it out. Believe in the process, tough it out for a while, start building some stuff on your own, go through the grind, start going to meetups, start meeting people online, start doing what you have to do to keep yourself going through the process. So I then looked through the, the Reddit post because I wanted to see if they had given any updates and I saw that they that they mentioned that the, the first week overview is this and it's like preparing for your boot camp, and they give you they give you a big old laundry list of stuff to do and they, they basically have some, some icebreaker questions, they have you join a Slack community. And now, now here's the thing, the, the fact that they offer a Slack community, that's awesome. But there are Slack communities and Discord servers for almost every major programming language. And on top of that, there's also smaller servers and niche servers that have different groups of people that work with different tech that you can find uh, from Reddit, you can find everywhere. You can find groups that are specific to languages, specific to web development, specific to Python, specific to JavaScript, it, they, they have them all. So the fact that they offer you a Slack group, that's cool, but there's already a lot of that stuff out there that's free that you could join. And then they have you set up Zoom, they have you learn a little bit of command lines and some, and, and some Git, and they have you set up Node and NPM, and then you go through the checklist, and then they, they have you do Bootstrap, and, and they go through their, their web development stack. And the guy says that, you know, if he feels, at this current moment, it feels like really loose and very much so my own responsibility to sit down and learn. Because you are, you're self-taught at this point. If your your curriculum actually is sitting and learning on your own, so why are you paying them? It's because so many people get caught up when they're learning how to code and being self-taught and, and they get discouraged and they have imposter syndrome and they don't have direction and, and that sucks. And I wish that there was better resources and I believe that there is. If you find the right YouTube communities, if you find the right, right people to, to listen to and talk to online, you can find better direction. I, I learned how to code over four years ago now and I, there was very little resources and now there's a lot more resources out there. So I, I kind of feel bad that this dude s paid this money because I, I don't know if it's worth it. So this was the new camp one. The, the other thing that I saw on Reddit, which was just yesterday, was this post right here. And this one really struck a chord with me because if you you read the tweet that they they posted here from uh, from this uh, Lambda school that they did a, a cross post or whatever on here for coding bootcamp. So I see this tweet and it really struck a chord with me because it says, imagine paying 30K for a bootcamp and once you're locked in, they force you to be a mentor, remove your team leads and standups with fellow classmates and you grade yourself and no more attendance. Welcome to Lambda School. $30,000, like I, I've heard that Lambda School is actually reputable. I heard that they're actually like, uh, when I when I Google them after seeing this and like looking through the comments, I, I, I heard that they were they were decent, but the, the thing is, times have changed. Everything's remote now. So these boot camps that were hands-on that would teach you and you could actually go to a class like a real school was before and sit down and have a senior level developer come and help you set up your computer and help you work through your code and help you with the actual projects that you're working on are kind of shifting and they're changing. And now a lot of these boot camps are taking this as a big opportunity to do a big cash grab because guess what? Now you don't have a brick and mortar school anymore. Now, instead of having 30 to 50 students in your class or however big these boot camps were before, now they can have a hundred or 200 or a thousand students sign up. And then now their resources are, are stretched, but the money is piling in. So it's kind of shady in a way that these boot camps are letting people spend their hard earned money and promising them a bunch of stuff. And boot camps are so popular right now that it's getting ridiculous because I got an email from OfferUp. That's right, the app where you sell all the junk that you don't want that's in your garage piling up is offering a scholarship for a coding boot camp called Iron Hack. I never heard of them. 
I'm not gonna say it's bad nor good because I really can't give an opinion on them, but I thought it was funny that OfferUp is is doing scholarships for, for coding boot camps, and coding boot camps are just getting that popular right now. But I wanna go back to the income shared agreements. So the one that, that really came to mind was App Academy because it's been very popular and I've heard a lot of people talking about it and they offer some free stuff on their website but, and they also say that they'll do their online and in-person you know, program with no tuition costs until you're hired as a software engineer making over 50K. That's, that's good money. That's pretty much what I made on my first job self-taught. I didn't have to pay anyone back because I learned on my own and that's what I'm trying to tell you here that you can do that too. But here's the thing, when it's a $20,000 loan and you have to pay that back in whatever, I don't know, three years or however long they make you pay it back, that's a lot of money. That, like, that's a lot of money a month. And even if it's stretched over five years, you start doing the math on that, that's, that's, that's a steep payment every month that is gonna go to something that you could have completely done on your own. And that's pretty much why I wanted to make this video. No, coding boot camps are not a scam, but they are a cash grab right now. And they are very popular and they're gaining more and more popularity. And the more that people want to learn how to code, the more these boot camps are gonna start popping up. And if you're on the fence and you've been learning how to code for a couple months now, and you just feel like you just aren't learning enough on your own and you're kind of stuck, it's only been two months or three months, like Mark to the Cuz on that Reddit post that he joined New Camp. That's not enough time to learn. You hear all these different boot camps and places that claim that they can get you a job in three months. But the truth is that that's not always the case. And three months is not enough time to learn how to code. I mean, it's enough time to learn the basics and maybe build a couple basic websites in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But three months is nothing. I've been I've been working professionally as a software developer for the last three and a half, almost four years now. I, I lose track of time, but it's been a long time. I've been doing this stuff for over four years. And I still feel like I don't know anything most of the time because that's just how this line of work is. That's just how you're gonna feel pretty much all the time. <laughs> and it sucks and it's hard, but I talk about that in other videos. It's normal. So if you've only been learning for a few weeks or a couple months and you, you're you ready to call it quits and say that you need to go to college or you need to go to a boot camp or you need to get an associates of applied science to teach you how to code, just keep at it. Do the whole entire free code camp curriculum. I guarantee you that you cannot do the entire free code camp curriculum in two months or three months. And if you do and you build all those projects that they have on it and you really grind that out in that amount of time, I guarantee you that you are hireable and you could probably get a job if you're able to complete all that stuff in three months. Because the amount of learning that you get from that and the way that they set you up on free code camp, you will be ready for a job. I'm not saying you'll get hired, but that's enough. Or do the Odin project or, you know, use different free resources or pay for a couple courses on Udemy or pay for a couple courses from some content creators that build the specific stuff that you're trying to learn and stick it out and then start building your own stuff and build your portfolio and go through all the steps, go through the grind. It took me almost a year to get a job. I didn't have to pay for any college afterwards. I was debt free. I probably spent less than a few hundred dollars on all the learning resources that I used. I used an old crappy laptop because I was too cheap to buy a new one. I, I, I came out of it way up. And if I would have signed up to App Academy and they would have placed me at a similar job to the one that I got when I first learned how to code, I'd probably still be paying them off right now, two, three hundred dollars a month or whatever that would have added up to, because, you know, over the course of of a few years, it takes a while to pay off ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. So don't get stuck paying some boot camp that's not gonna do much for you besides have you go out and learn to code on your own and then charge you money for it. Because that's what it seems like a lot of these new 
boot camps that are popping up are doing now. And that's just not right. So just be aware of that and just know that they're not all scams, but they're not all needed to, to be successful in this industry. You can do all this stuff on your own given the right resources. I talk about a lot of them on my channel. If you're interested in any of that stuff, check out some of my other videos. I guarantee you that you'll find enough resources mentioned on my channel to guide you in the right path to learning how to code for free. And if not, just, just go do free code camp. Just start there. Just, just, just work through that. Learn web development. They have Python videos on there. They have a whole bunch of stuff. There's, there's just so many free resources. I don't want to keep going on about that. Just, but just remember that you have to tough it out. It's not going to be easy. And going to a boot camp is not going to make it any easier. It's still going to be hard. It's still going to be a struggle. You're still going to get stuck. And yes, you might have a few people that you can ask for help, but there's a lot of free communities out there that you can join as well and ask for help. People are always asking for help in my Discord server and half the time I can't even help them but other people that are in there are helping them. So if you want to join my Discord you can. It's probably not the best place to get coding advice but look around and just look. You'll find places and different uh, subreddits that have Discord groups and different programming languages that have Discord groups, like I mentioned before, that you can join and get help for your code or ask questions on Stack Overflow or ask questions on Reddit or ask questions on Twitter or just, just don't pay a boot camp. They're not worth it. With all that said, if you enjoyed this video, if you found any value in it, if you agree with anything that I said, make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.